Today, we will resolve the problem dishwasher is not switching on. Let's resolve this problem stepwise. Step 1. Check the MCB. MCB should be in on condition and its rating should be 16 ampere. If MCB is off, switch on the MCB. If the MCB rating is incorrect, ask the customer to change it with the correct rating. If the MCB rating is correct and in the on position, follow the next step. Step 2. Check power point. Set multimeter on 400 to 600 volts AC. Connect the multimeter probes to the live and neutral point of the power socket and check if the voltage is between 220 volts to 240 volts. Connect the multimeter probes to neutral and earth point of power socket and check if leakage voltage is between 0.1 to 5 volts. Connect the multimeter probes to the live and earth point of power socket and check if earthing voltage is between 200 to 240 volts plus leakage voltage. If voltage is not in range, guide the customer to contact the electrician to correct the same. If yes, follow the next step. Step 3. Remove the fascia or bottom cover of the dishwasher as per PCB location. Remove PCB cover for checking input voltage. Step 4. Check the voltage on PCB. Set multimeter on 400 to 600 volts AC. Check input voltage at PCB on live and neutral terminal. The voltage should be 220 to 240 volts. If voltage is in range, which means PCB is getting input voltage but not giving output. Replace PCB. If not, follow the next step. Step 5. Remove the bottom cover of the dishwasher and check for loose connections. Check the connector of PCB, on-off switch and RF filter. If any connection is loose, tighten and refix connections. If connections are proper, Follow the next step. Step 6. Check power supply cable. Set multimeter on continuity. Check continuity on all three terminals of the power supply cable. Always check continuity from live to live, neutral to neutral and earth to earth. If there is no continuity, replace the power supply cable. If continuity is available, follow next step. Step 7. Check RF filter. Set multimeter on continuity. Check continuity from live in to live out of RF filter. Also, check continuity from neutral in to neutral out of the RF filter. If there is no continuity, change RF filter. If continuity is available, Follow next step. Step 8. Check continuity of wire from RF filter to on-off switch. Set multimeter on continuity. Check continuity from RF filter live terminal to on-off switch live terminal. Also, check continuity from the RF filter neutral terminal to the on-off switch neutral terminal. If the dishwasher is having a single pole on-off switch, neutral will be coming directly from the power supply cable. If there is no continuity, change the wire harness or add a jumper in between. If continuity is available, follow next step. Step 9. Check on-off switch. Set multimeter on continuity. Before checking, press on-off switch to on condition. Check continuity between live in and live out and also neutral in and neutral out terminal of on-off switch. If there is no continuity, change on-off switch. If continuity is available, follow next step. Step 10. 
check the neutral wire from on off switch output to PCB input. Set multimeter on continuity. Check continuity between neutral wire from on off switch output to PCB input. If there is no continuity, change wire harness or add jumper wherever continuity is breaking. If continuity is available, follow the next step. Step 11. Check continuity of live wire from on off switch output to PCB input. Set multimeter on continuity. Check continuity between live wire from on off switch output to PCB input. If there is no continuity, change the wire harness or add a jumper wherever continuity is breaking. After following the above steps, we hope that the problem of dishwasher not switching on will be resolved.